Are you shitting me? Order two. All right, so, giving it a day, huge overreaction would be that we suck booty. Nothing much to say. Like the stat it showed last year, 12 blown leads that resulted in a loss when Penguins were up headed into the third period. There's just nothing much to say. Like there's not one person to blame. Like you can throw it all on Tristan Jari and be like, well, our goalkeeper sucks. That's why. Well, yes. But then there's also looking at the fact of like when you're up 2-1, there's got to be the, that guy, whether it's Rust again or Crosby again, because they had goals and they contributed really big in this game. Someone's got to slam the door shut, if that makes sense. This is a scrappy team on the road that has nothing to lose this whole season. Like, they tanked last year to go get Bedard. Like, they have nothing to prove this whole year. Huge overreaction would be like, get Jari out of there, cut him. Let's go find a new goalie, but... Hey, we signed an extension, so we got to deal with this for five more years. Carlson, his, you know, first game of this 23 campaign with the Penguins. I mean, there wasn't any standout plays where it's like, oh my gosh, did you see that perfect save where he slid and sacrificed? No, nothing like that. Nothing crazy. Um, same with, uh, you know, Connor in his first start. There was nothing crazy where it's like, oh my gosh, did you see his puck handling as he went from blue line to blue line and, you know, did a sick twister for a goal? Nothing crazy like that. Nothing much to say. You know, Penguins, we found a way to hit mid-season form already and blow a 2-1 lead, which how fitting is it that the team that eliminated us last year to go to the playoffs have them for opening night on home ice and same results, 4-2 loss. And I think it was 4-2 back in April too, but anyways, I will try to catch you in the next video. Peace.